We're back. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Head Movement MMA back with another one. Uh, we got a special guest here today, actually. Uh, I guess we could say we've gone international. Um, we have Invicta's own Mina Brutska Grusender uh, here as a special guest. Hi. Um, she is going to be fighting for the women's Adam Weight uh, belt and Invicta. This is a rematch. Uh, against Jen Yu Fry uh, from, I believe that was from what, back in July? Yes, back uh, in July. Yeah, and this was for the the, the vacant belt um, at the time. So I guess let's kind of start up with just kind of leading into, you know, your, your previous fights. Uh, we talked off air about your first match and, and you know, how, how, how uh, we started our history in Invicta. Uh, what was kind of like your lead up in, in, into the match, your, your thought process and everything else? Uh, I think everything felt great when I was going into a fight. Mm -hmm. And I felt like it was my time. Uh, in July, there was like half of the crowd having Finnish flags on their hands. Yeah. And uh, I was so excited to get in the fight mm -hmm. and to, uh, to get inside the cage. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I imagine being so far from home um, and, and then seeing, you know, countrymen, countrywomen, um, you know, representing, showing, I guess, their heritage. And, and, and uh, you know, it, it kind of makes you feel a little at ease, I guess, you know, kind of going, going into, I guess, you know, hostile territory or unfamiliar yeah. places. Actually, I really feel like home when I'm out in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. I really do. I've been there several times, and my brother brother's family lives there, so it feels like a second home to me. Okay, okay, I didn't know that. It's good to know. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I have not yet been to a, an Invicta fight. Uh, don't come quite far enough to the East Coast for ah, me. Yeah, uh, you should. I, I know. I definitely will one day. I definitely will do that. That is on the bucket list. Um, but I do check out Fight Pass every time uh, Invicta's on. I wish there was more fights out there. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll we'll table that for now. But yeah, so so during the I guess the first matchup uh, between you and Jin Yu Fry, um, were there, were there, were you worried about anything like going into the fight? Were you worried about hand speed? Were you worried about you know the maybe? Um, the differences in, in physical strength because you know she kind of looks like an action figure. Uh, <laughs> build, right? Um, yes. Um, definitely does have. Uh, uh, I guess she's more of the well-known fighter at that time. I guess you know going through Invicta and, and other organizations. Um, were, were there were there any things that you were worried about in your training that you were you know expecting her to do to, to counteract or um, anything like that? Uh, well, yeah, I knew that she had been in big fights already, that she has fought uh, on, at a top level already for a few fights already, and I was the newcomer in Invicta uh, for that fight. Uh, I actually, well, yeah, I knew that she likes to back out a lot and counter strikes. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing special, really. I was really... Uh, doing my own learning <laughs> learning path throughout the, uh, the preparation like mm -hmm. I do for, for fights. Okay. So, yeah, during the fight, I was mostly pretty underwhelmed. Like, I think I have suspected more from her. And okay. I, like, kept waiting that when all this uh, hugely talented thing... Uh, will start from her point. Right, because right, so, she does have a lot of hype behind her, right? And a lot of experience yeah, or, or lots yeah. of exposure. Um, you know, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. Uh, that was that was a bit weird. And yeah, maybe maybe the, for that I had a little bit too much respect towards her. Mm -hmm. So I was actually waiting for her to be a lot better. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I kind of agree with you there. I, I was expecting a lot more output from her. Um, you yeah, know, that's I, the word. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it did seem like um, she was a little tentative, um, I guess, going into uh, the round. And, and, and I guess, uh, I mean, that is that you could take that as a compliment to you. Right. I mean, she she showed a lot of respect, um, you know, for your skill set in, in the ring where she didn't 
just to go in there and bum rush you and, and you know and try to try to take you out as quick as you can. Probably, yeah. So I mean, you 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 came out there and I guess you set the tone. Um, you know, you showed a lot of ring command. I mean, you kept her, you know, her back to the cage, but you know, again, she does like to counter strike. Um, yeah. But the, the first two rounds, I, I have to admit, um, I mean, I gave them to you. Um, now, with your style, once you were in there, you, you, uh, I guess you, you inserted some of your will on there. Um, you lean her up against the cage. Um, now, at that point in time, were, were you expecting more from her when, when you were in the clinch? Or um, what was going through your thought process of you know what, what not to do? Or were you reactionary or were we trying to be proactive? Uh, well, yeah, I think that I did enough, like in the first two rounds and then at the fourth one. Uh, I think that I really dominated fights and she felt that uh, she felt that I was strong and she couldn't do anything. Uh, she was standing there just trying to defense. And mm -hmm. I think that I still was more af I'm more active. I think I, w I did enough to win those rounds. Yeah. But yeah, at that point as well, I was really waiting and hoping something more from her. And I thought that I was winning those mm -hmm. uh, at those situations. So yeah. I I waited for her to do some some defense and her to do more because I felt like I was winning. Yeah, I mean, and definitely, I mean, going into that third round, I'm I'm, I'm sure your confidence had to be high. I'm trying to remember. I don't think you did. You sit down in the corner at all between the first, second, maybe third rounds. I think you were doing a lot of standing. Probably not. Probably not. I always tell my corner persons to bring the chair, and mm -hmm. it's my own choice whether I want to sit or not. But usually, I don't sit. No, no need. Yeah. It's only five, five, five minutes rounds. So <laughs> only no five minutes rounds. Round. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. That's 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 a first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> only, only five, five minutes. Yeah. Okay. It's just forty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay. I, I'll leave that to the professional athlete. Okay. You, you can have you can have that. Um. So yeah. I mean, you, your cardio looked excellent. I mean, throughout the whole fight. Um. Hers kind of looked a little shaky. I don't. I don't. I mean, you know, it goes back to yeah. She she looked a little off. I mean, I'm not. Sure, what was going on through her mind, um, you know, but yeah, I mean, you, you look to seem to have the better cardio through all five rounds, um, you know, even after the fight, you know, the hands are in the air like Rocky, like, I mean, I mean, is, is cardio one of your strengths? I mean, how how do you get such like high output from, you know, from, from your training? Oh, yes, it's it sure is. It has always been my cardio. I have never had none pro problems with my cardio mm -hmm. and well that was my first five rounds fight so mm -hmm. i couldn't be like 100 percent sure how my cardio will do mm -hmm. uh if we go to the, and when we go to the championship rounds yeah but it was nice to now see that yes i know my cardio is my strength and i know i can count on it and we've been working on it still so I know that I can be way more aggressive. I can push a lot more uh, in the next fight. Right now, so so it sounds like you you definitely answered a few questions. Uh, you know about your about your training, about yourself, uh, about your output. Um, you know, and, and I guess you'll definitely capitalize on that going into the next fight here. I guess what is that in December fifteenth? I believe right in two yes. weeks, less less than two, less than two right? weeks. Yes. So. Um, you know, in that, uh, I guess, what was it? It was a third round. Things seemed to change a little bit. Um, I mean, it, it looked like... Yeah, I tried out my jujitsu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, will, will, we, will we try that again? Uh, probably not. No, no. Uh, okay. Yeah. When uh, Actually, in the third round, when both fighters are sweaty and slippery, mm -hmm. uh, it's totally different to try to finish fights from back. Right. And it looked like, I believe that was the third round. She, she also went for a rear naked choke there. Um, it didn't seem like she, uh, she got it under the chin. It was yeah. right on the chin. Right. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess the thumbs up kind of, kind of gave it away, huh? When you were. 
actually, that's about me being a little bit underwhelmed again during okay. the fight because okay. she really got my back mm -hmm. and didn't find the way. Okay, so, so that so was weird. So we're expecting more pressure from you, more more output, more punches, more kicks, or or what's kind of like the game plan without giving away the game plan? Uh, well, I turn it to be way more aggressive, and I do think that EY would have been more aggressive and really pushing towards finishing the fight mm -hmm. uh, in the previous fight already. Uh, also, the Chechi scorecard could have mm -hmm. turned to my favor. Yeah. So I sure know that I need to be more aggressive, and I sure know that I can be, and I could have been already. But sure. in this rematch, of course, uh, there's a lot for me to do more, mm -hmm. and I can do a lot more. So at the at the uh, during the decision, I, and I and I went back and I and I watched the fight, and um, and I and I guess I you know. You know, when I, even when I'm going to cover the, these events, you know, uh, a lot of times I'll go back and forth, um, you know, when I'm covering other MMA events, you know, as do I want to cover it as a reporter? Do I want to recover it, cover it as a photographer? You know, because that way, you know, those moments kind of last. The picture can tell a thousand words. Yeah. Uh, you know, but at the same time, I kind of miss a lot of those, you know, key moments. Um, by by taking pictures and kind of looking at through this you know this tiny little uh, opening on the camera, um, when 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 you heard, I guess well, when I went back and looked at the fight, I didn't see it quite so lopsided, I guess. Um, but what I definitely did see there there was a difference, right? That uh, I would give the nod to you in that fight, definitely. And I kind of saw like what everyone else was was saying. And I guess, you know, they say, don't leave it in the judge's hands, right? Yeah. And, and I guess to the judges possibly, and I don't like to speak for the judges, but maybe they were just looking at it like, okay, well, we don't see her with the high output. We see her with the pressure against the cage, but they don't count that, you know, kind of like as the ring control as as some of us others would like, hey, she's, she's pressing, she's showing aggressive ring control. Um, so we'll, Will you try to stay away from the cage in, in, in this match? Or, you know, I know it's kind of hard to kind of determine. You like you kind of roll with the go with the flow there, but you know, are you are you will you try to stay more in the center? Um, or will you try to kind of you know lean up against the fence? Because I believe that was affecting her cardio because her output did start to, you know, go down a little bit later in that third or probably that more more so the fourth and the fifth rounds. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, I think that's pretty much my style. I like to press her forward, and I like to get my opponents their their back on the cage. Yeah. So I don't think that's gonna change that much if mm. she continues doing what she does, and I continue doing what I do. Uh, yeah. It might be pretty similar, but I know that I can be way more active and aggressive yeah. at those points as well. Mm. I think it was in the fourth round. When I started using more of my elbows, yes, compared to the first few few rounds. Mm -hmm. So at the fourth round, I think I landed like fifty elbows. Yeah, to her head. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I yeah. think that's more what I want to do in the fight, and I think that the fans and even chatters will appreciate that. Yes, definitely. Everyone loves the elbow. Everyone yeah, loves the elbows, right? <laughs> Um, I mean, and and then and I guess early, early part of the rounds. I mean, you know, when when you guys broke, it seemed like she was definitely that was kind of her earlier game plan in the first and second rounds. You know, she would I think she tried a couple spinning back elbows herself. Um, okay. I guess you were giving her a bit of a taste of her own medicine after a while, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, like, let's go to the the the, the I, and I guess this is what stood stood out to me. Uh, the most, right? This is kind of what made, what kind of clouded my memory on the like, was this fight, was was this total domination? Uh, the, the part that stuck out to me was the, the judges card, right? The, you know, do, do you, re do you remember, does that haunt you the, 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 when they were calling it out? I mean, you know, there was a 49, 46, then 48, 47, 48, 47, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden it was like, and new, and they announced Jin Yu Fry. Yeah. Fighting I mean, out of 
whatever she fights for. Yeah. I was like, oh. Texas. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. <laughs> and, uh, uh, was, was, was that fight in Texas also? Huh? Uh, no, it was in Kansas City. That was in Kansas City? Sorry. Okay. okay, I was thinking that was in Texas. Okay. All right. I mean, and, and then clearly, clearly, uh, you're upset. Um, you know, there were fans upset. Uh, I believe yeah. that uh, the judges um, themselves, or not just judges, but the commentators, uh, I have a couple of quotes here um, from TJ DeSantos. Uh, DeSantis, uh, he said, you showed up with confidence, talk the talk, and walk the walk. Yeah. All right. And this was at the end. Uh, and I'm sure I'm sure you've watched the fight. I guess I should have yeah. that, right? Um, and then Julie, you know, again, Julie Kenzie, she's awesome also. Um, you know, says stated you push forward, control distance in, in your cage, and showed mastery of doing that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of evidence. Uh <laughs> In your favor, right? And you know, and I want to stay stay somewhat biased here, um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that uh, are pointing to, to your direction of of, of winning. Um, yeah. You know, so how how do, how do you, I guess, deal with that, right? Because does that kind of I don't want to say the word haunt you, but how do you move forward? And I guess how we use it to your benefit and not necessarily go in there and like with this, you know, vengeance in mind and, you know, and kind of like stay within yourself, you know, and fight your game plan. Well, actually I'm always pretty critical towards my own performance mm -hmm. in any fight. So actually, even if I would have won the fight, I would have still wanted to watch the fight myself pretty critically mm -hmm. and learn from it. People yeah. always keep saying you win or you learn, but I yeah. think you learn and you learn. It doesn't uh -huh. really matter uh, in winning or losing on that point. So right. actually I went through it uh, as I think I would have gone through the fight even if I had won the fight. Mm -hmm. It was pretty hard for me to talk about the fight with anybody because they keep uh, other people kept saying, telling me that, well, don't stress about it. You won the fight. I was like, no, 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 no. I, I yeah. wasn't asking about it. I yeah. wasn't talking about it. I was talking about my performance. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but yeah, it was nice to get, well, I got it perfectly got, gone through with my coaches. Yeah. And of course, my own team understands me and understands what I want to go through with the fight. Right, right. So that was good. But anybody else, like other coaches at our my gym, uh, or anybody actually by fans in Finland, uh, that I really like to have that conversation. That how mm -hmm. did I do in the fight, mm -hmm. and how how can I do better? So mm -hmm. it was hard to go go through that conversation when people kept just saying that no, 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 you won the fight. I was like, yeah. no, I didn't, yeah. and uh, it's not the point at that point. Right. Especially, I mean, after training so hard, right? I mean, um, typically what? Training camp is two, three months, if not longer. Yeah. Um, like and then to come out with, with you know, the, the disappointing decision, especially when you when you felt, you know, a certain way, like, hey, I, you know, you, you had to feel good about that, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and, then, and then to have that come out. Um, and, and, and then truthfully, I, I think it's, it's, you know, 50, 50, you know, or, you know, 49, 51 in, in, in favor of, you know, like either way, depending on, you know, if you talk to your fans, if you talk to her fans, I mean, I'm sure there's a small percentage of folks that are like, I, you know, you, you can kind of see it going either way. Um, you know, just depending on, uh, um, you know, like, like what, what fighting style you liked, um, you know, as they say, you know, don't leave it in the judge's hands. Um, but uh, for for your post fight, um, I, I guess interview, um, you know, you were asked, you know, what about a rematch? And <laughs> clearly, you were a little irritated. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, and you said like you don't know about a rematch. Like, kind of, what was running through your mind there? Was it like actually? Well, uh, I really don't know about the rematches in general. Mm -hmm. Like. 
uh, uh, I just don't have opinion, of course. Well, yeah, right now I feel like uh, I deserve the rematch. Yeah. <laughs> and, of yeah. course, there's uh, uh, other situations as well mm-hmm. when people deserve the rematches or it's smart move for some reason to do a rematch. Yeah. But, yeah, at that point, actually, when I was asked, I didn't... Well, at that point, there's no clear thinking going. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, actually, I I was answering about, like, rematches in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't have... I don't really have an opinion for rematches in general. Uh, I don't know about those. Uh, so... That was basically it. But yeah, it was nice. After the fight, uh, I started understanding pretty soon that there was a lot of controversy. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't just me feeling yeah. that I won the fight. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I really felt uh, for a long time before we got the fight. Like, uh, officially, uh, before we got the fight officially, uh I really felt like we would be going to watch a rematch. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, I I'm I'm trying to remember if I if I've seen any any rematches in Invicta or any any type of fight behind or any type of uh, a fight that had this kind of like momentum, kind of hype, kind of controversy behind it, and especially like. I mean, cre- credit to uh, uh, for Shannon, right? Shannon Knapp to like, okay, so what? That was uh, FC thirty, I believe. Yes. And then you know, within less than six months, I guess. I mean, you're 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 getting your rematch. You know, you had enough time to 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 I guess decompress, um, and then get back into the gym. Kind of like what 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 have you you know? How did you decompress after you know such such a match like this? Well, yeah, sure. I have. Uh, I have had a great, uh, great months of training. I've been uh, uh, fully healthy. Mm-hmm. Haven't got any sicknesses or illnesses, and I have had yes, great training for these months. Uh, I took a little, a uh, little time off with my children. Uh, went to a summer cottage, and yeah. I spent stuff, uh, time with my family. Mm-hmm. Uh, for a few weeks, for a week or two, actually. But uh, yeah, I like to train, so mm-hmm. I I like to get back to the gym, and uh, and keep on with my development. Now, how do you how do how do you balance all this, right? I mean, th- th- to be a professional fighter, <laughs> professional mom. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, what's what's kind of like what's kind of like the the day in the life of uh, of Amina? I mean, you're getting up, uh, I don't know, five six in the morning. I mean, do you train in the morning? Uh, you know, what, what's that like? Uh, well, it goes pretty naturally. The whole family has grown into it. <laughs> uh, really, yeah, uh, I really. Uh, I started with my with my amateur bouts in MMA when my daughter was less than one year old. Okay. So. Uh, she's been basically raised at the gym. Well, usually I first send my son to school and my daughter goes with me to the gym in the morning. Okay. So I don't have to wake up before the whole, fa- the whole the, be- mm-hmm. before to do, I don't have to wake up so early to do any training before the other family, the rest of okay. the family uh, wakes up. Uh, I can have my kids with me, or at least my daughter, the younger one, with me at the gym when I do my first training. Mm-hmm. And then usually I get to train uh, totally in a piece for the evening mm-hmm. because my husband's home with the kids. Okay. So it goes pretty smoothly. Okay. And any any uh, future uh, plans of getting your kids involved in uh, MMA or any type of martial arts or sports, you know, for that matter? Uh, well, yeah, my son tried out some um, Jiu Jitsu for a few years. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, but it wasn't his thing. He's now playing ice hockey. Mm-hmm. And my daughter is dancing ballet. Ah, nice, safer sport. They have their own paths, but yeah, yeah, they like to be sporty and they try like to try out different sports. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my son is totally in love with ice hockey. 
like I think every Finnish young guys are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah, my daughter likes to dance, so they okay. are not martial artists. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, to to each his own, right? You never you never know until they try it. You know that that's yeah. great that they're um, doing sports also. Um. So yeah, let's um. So you know, you're you're from Finland. Yes. Um, <laughs> So, uh, what is it? You train out of Finn? What is it? I'm Finn sorry. Fighters Gym. Finn Fighters Gym. Now, do do you have um, a lot of uh, other uh, ladies fighters there? Do you have to train with the men? Do you have uh, women there? And I guess that would that would be considered around about in um, you know your weight group there, or, or or is it hard for you to find uh, training partners there? Uh, well, yeah, we have a lot of ladies at our gym. Uh, most of them are doing two, two, two and grappling. Uh, a few are doing MMA as well. So I get to train uh, with girls mm -hmm. my size at my gym. Then I go to Turku Maya Thai uh, to do some kickboxing or Thai boxing. Mm -hmm. uh, Maya Thai training at the over there. And then we have a couple my size professional fighter girls in other cities in Finland. Okay. We have Helsinki uh, and Tampere both are about 100 miles from Turku. So okay. we do gather up together and train together okay. uh, with those girls a lot. So they come here in Turku or I travel to Helsinki to train with them. So that's mm -hmm. extremely nice. And I believe you, you've you've done some training stints here in the in the, in the the U.S. Is, was that with AKA possibly? Um, I think I read that somewhere. No, no, I haven't. I've I've trained with Elsie Davis uh, when I when I've been in Kansas City earlier, okay. like for for years already. But that's about it. I haven't had any training camps in states okay. or anywhere else. No. Okay. Okay. Um. So yeah. So so let's let's go back here to the title fight. So. Yes. Oh, what what are we expecting here as as the outcome? Are we going to call out our shot, or are we going to see where where it goes, or um, are we going for a finish, or, or what what have what have you? Uh, well, I think it's pretty clear that we are going towards a finish <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Don't want to feel the feeling anymore when the judges' yeah. scoreguards are not on my favor. Uh, but yeah, we are certainly going towards a finish at this point mm -hmm. uh i don't i don't want to get too stressed about the finish uh but i'm pretty sure that when i will come out more aggressively and push a lot more during the fight mm -hmm. uh it will end up with the finish okay excellent yeah because you, you seem to you keep that left going i mean that <laughs> That left is always out there, and it's like, is she going to pull it? Is she going to pull it? You know, you, you got the right hand up high. I mean, you know, it's protecting your face. I mean, uh, you know, your stand up is is is, is seeing pretty on point there. Um, sure. you, you definitely, uh, it's definitely showing, you know, in your performance there, your your, your training there. So, um, I think I, I forgot to do one thing. I don't know. Let me see if I can get this get this to play. Um. I think it's okay. Tell me if you can. Let's see if it's. See, look, tell me if you can hear this. Yes, I can. <laughs> I think that they know that I dominated the fight. But there's a lot of people saying, you know, they agree with the win. There's a lot of people saying that they didn't agree with the win. This time, I don't want to leave it down. I want my win to be definitive. <laughs> Uh, hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> um, you know, I I saw that. I, I was just okay. That's awesome. <laughs> Hats off to Invicta. I mean, I I, I love this. I love this. <laughs> I mean that that's how you cut a promo. I mean that's how you get fans to tune in. Um, there's there's. You know, you you both ladies, uh, you know, are, are great in, in you know my eyes, and um, congratulations to both of you. However, the you know this this outcome turns out, and and hopefully we can have you back on the show, uh, maybe as the, as the future champ or 
for sure. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I want to I want to thank you for your time once again. Um, you know, I, you. I go ahead and uh, put all your information below in the links. Um, but before yeah. we sign off, is uh, anything that uh, you want to say? Some shout outs. Uh, you know, your sponsors, family, what have you. Uh, well, a huge shout out, as always, to my great team of coaches uh, and my family, my number one supporters and number one fans. Uh, we do it this actually with the whole family. I couldn't do, I couldn't be a professional MMA fighter if I didn't have the full, uh, the whole family mm. fully supporting me. So yes. that's a huge thing. Yes. All right. You want to you want to shout out to Instagram for all the all the soon to be followers uh, from from this mega <laughs> fight here. Uh, well, yeah. I, I try to stay interesting in Instagram as well. <laughs> yeah, that, that social media stuff, it's it's uh it, it, it can be addicting in uh you know in yeah. many ways. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, all right, once again, thank you again. Um Mina Brutska, and I didn't even talk about uh the nickname. I'm so sorry, Grusender. I believe that means brutal. <laughs> yes. It comes straight from Prudel. Oh yes, uh, with those those heavy elbows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again, Demina. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, You're always welcome. Uh, you know, come on anytime. Um, and the the fight is when again? Uh, December fifteenth. All right, you can check that out on Fight Pass if you don't have it. Um, they're always running specials. You can have a free month or sign up for seven ninety nine or something like that. Uh, it's definitely well worth it. All right, folks, that'll do it for another M M ah, tongue tied another yeah. episode of Head Moving MMA. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, I think I think uh, the double air infection is catching up with me now, Mina. But uh, yeah. we power through. So best of luck to you. Um, thanks, everybody, thanks. for checking us out. And uh, we'll see you until the next time is the right time. Head move yes. out.